The major difference between intensive, extensive, and semi-intensive methods relates to the number of shrimp per cubic meter a producer wants to achieve. This is referred to as density. In a perfect world, every producer would choose a higher density under the logic that the higher the density, the better the harvest. But, as in many instances, the real world is far from perfect, and higher densities must confront the higher risk of disease. This article explains the extensive method of anime shrimp farming, the method most used in Ecuador. Arguably, it is largely responsible for the country's ability to thwart the EMS epidemic until now. The extensive method of shrimp farming is the one employed in Ecuador when the industry first commenced in the country in the 1960s. Today, it is the most widely used method for raising Ecuadorian vaname shrimp. Commonly practiced in the coastal and mangrove areas, this method relies on tides for water exchange. Aeration is minimal thanks to the location of pools. The method is characterized by its low stocking densities, either by limiting the number of seeds, normally 2 to 5,000 shrimps per hectare, or 2 to 3 shrimps per cubic meter, placed in the shrimp pool or pond or by increasing pool or pond sizes. This is where these the so-called extensive farms come in. The pools employed cover larger areas, reaching up to 100 hectares or 1 square kilometer. In terms of annual yields, one can expect 150 to 500 kilos per hectare per cropping with 1 to 2 croppings per year. Shrimps in extensive farms feed on naturally occurring organisms relying on the pond's natural productivity and enhanced only by minimal fertilization. Ecuadorian vaname shrimp are naturally efficient in utilizing such productivity of the ponds. Maintenance does not require a lot of manpower or specialized knowledge. All this results in lower total production costs and capital investment requirements. On the average, one kilo of live shrimp will only have a production cost of one to three US dollars, which is low compared to other methods. Shrimp farmers also maintain that extensive method has helped in the prevention of disease, particularly the early mortality syndrome, EMS. In simplified terms, this is explained by the disease versus population dynamic. The more populated an enclosed space is, the faster the spread of disease within that area. Shrimps in an environment with high population density are also more prone to stress, putting their immune systems at risk. One disadvantage of this method relates to socioeconomic implications. Since the extensive method is not labor-intensive, jobs tend to be seasonal, with hiring mostly done during harvest. It comes as no surprise that in Ecuador, these jobs are to a great degree filled by migrant workers. Another disadvantage relates to the environment. Extensive farms' tendency to cover larger areas has in the past led to the massive clearing of mangrove areas. In fact, the disappearance of roughly 35% of the world's mangrove forests is largely blamed on shrimp farms practicing the extensive method.